I assume that that your product was a custom formulation, correct? It was. Yeah, it took it took a you, long, you through, way longer than we expected. When I started Pete and Pedro, I started with the the white label, you know, situation where it was yep. like, hey, for three thousand dollars, I started a line. I you know sourced a bunch of different products, and you know I, I found the ones that I liked and and I loved them and and you know put my label. And it was an easy way to sort of integrate into a business like that. But for you going custom on your first run. You know, when I started, I had a, a smaller audience, right? I also had, had, I felt like it was a risky sort of undertaking and I didn't know what I didn't know. You had the experience of working with these other brands. You had experience of driving a message, doing content and actually selling things. So you had, I guess, more confidence that it was a wise investment to invest, you know, 30,000 bucks is a ton of money, right? Yeah. And so, you know, to actually do that, that is like super like, I believe in myself. And it's a scary undertaking, but I guess you know you had gotten to the point where you were you were already you know crushing it on on a different level. So it was, hey, you know what? I'm going to do this. What's the worst thing that happens, right? Exactly. You know, and I, I looked at Pete and Pedro. I looked at Blue Mon, who was you know doing a great job. I'm, I'm friends with Joe as well, and I was like, this is going to work. This has to work if I have the right product for my audience, which I believe I can I can develop. It's going to work, and that's why it took so long for us to develop this product because I was like. Everything is writing on this one product, so it needs to be mm -hmm. good. And it took us a while. And the review and the out. reviews were great too. Their yeah. reviews were great too. I mean, a lot of you know the the online hair community, they like a good product, and they definitely <laughs> you sort of you know got behind you and and really yeah. loved your product. And so then you came out with another product. Exactly. Yeah. So we had the clay for uh, almost a year. Like eight months, ten months, and then th then you grew your hair, and you were like, "Yo, I need another product now." <laughs> I, dude, well, the problem is, like, I, I, it's hard for me to advertise my own products now because I can't even wear the clay because nothing holds this yeah. thing together. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, I need to shoot ads for Forte, but I can't do it with this hair, so I need to find models. It's it's a yeah. thing, but a couple more months maybe, and then I'll I'll, I'll chop it off. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Yeah, we launched four new products, man, in July. You know, we it's the molding paste the argan oil, the shampoo, and the conditioner. So that was an amazing launch for us because we went from having one product to five. And obviously, you know, the average um, value per order is going to go up, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So that for us was, was huge, was really huge. It completely changed our business. Um, to be quite frank with you, I haven't taken a single dime from Forte since we launched. Not a single dime. I've only put money into it, put time into it, promoted it on my channel. And, you know, the, the plan is to continue to grow it. And we're launching three more products next month. And then we're launching like a slew of products this year. I think we have, I think we're gonna have a total of like 13 products by the end of the year, wow. which very pumped about, yeah.